that is exhaust gas temperature reading. 1,160 1, degrees Fahrenheit. My power command is 3 USB interface. And my laptop uh, interfacing with the power commander with cylinder trim function. What I've just done uh, is I have richened up. This is rich. This is lean on the front cylinder. The front cylinder is where I have the exhaust gas temperature gauge hooked up. And I'm going to show you a swing in, in exhaust gas temperature right now. What I've done is I've richened it up to the maximum, okay, to achieve the 116 degree Celsius, uh, 1,160 degree Fahrenheit exhaust gas temperature reading. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean the mixture out all the way to the maximum. And what we're going to see is the exhaust gas temperature rise from 1,160 Fahrenheit probably going to go up well above 1,200. Uh, so let's check it out. When I hit OK, this will download this leaner fuel trim setting to the power commander. The power commander will tell the bike to run the front cylinder leaner, and we'll see that on the exhaust gas temperature gauge. Okay? So here we go. Let's send that data. All right? to 117, 118. Okay. See the temperature rising there. And effectively what I'm demonstrating to you is when you lean out air fuel ratio, you raise your exhaust gas temperatures. And here's the proof right here. For those that uh, say that uh, adjusting air fuel ratio uh, doesn't affect exhaust gas temperature, or some have said that leaning the uh, air fuel ratio lowers the exhaust gas temperature. This right here is proof that leaning out the air fuel ratio raises the exhaust gas temperature. So we're up to uh, 1200 Fahrenheit at idle here. And this gauge ported right there uh, at the uh, exhaust port of the uh, front cylinder, which in this case this is number two and this is number one. Okay, sir, so we're at uh, 1210, 1200 or so Fahrenheit exhaust gas temperature. Okay. Let's see if we can, we'll go back to the trim function, and what I'll do is I will richen that mixture back up again, okay? Now let's see what happens to those exhaust gas temperatures. Oh, we're already down to 119. So I've richened the mixture, you saw, means move the slide bar to the positive percentile, which is, means richening, okay? Exhaust gas temperatures are lowering again. It takes a while uh, for it to cool off, obviously. But as you can see, we are slowly cooling off again. Let's see if we can get it back down to 116. I'll shut her down. This video demonstrates the importance of having an exhaust gas temperature gauge on the application, on the vehicle that you're attempting to install a hydrogen booster on. Okay. You must understand and be able to tune your engine. You can't just throw one of these things on and expect them to work properly. You have to tune the engine accordingly. Alright, so like I said, it takes a while for it to cool off. Um, give it a couple more seconds and we'll shut her down if she doesn't hit 116. Now she's not going to go back down there. 
but you do see the temp you have seen the temperature swing, so. Alright, gonna go ahead and shut that down. Okay, now, what I've just proven to you, or what I've just, just demonstrated to you, is the importance of being able to tune and adjust your application. And I want to show you what motivated me to do this. Uh, it was fairly simple. Um, I was performing an oil change in the tune-up on the Thundernuts bike. On the Thundernuts bike. Yeah. What's up? Recognize. So, you can see by looking at the plugs, um, this was the front cylinder. This is the rear cylinder. Um, you can see there is an imbalance between the front and the rear cylinders, two plugs per cylinder. Um, this one's running a little bit richer uh, than this one. Okay, so I wanted to trim back on uh, the uh, air-fuel ratio on the rear cylinder to get these to match so they're running a little bit closer. Okay, and that's what motivated me to go, in, go ahead and um, run these cylinder trim value tests. Okay, so um, this also gives me an opportunity uh, to discuss a little bit with you um, uh, this fuel map that I had developed um, for the Thundernuts bike with the hydrogen booster application, okay? And um, showing the importance of being able to use your equipment and gauges to properly tune uh, your application, okay? So this map was made, custom made at a dyno by a motorcycle technician, okay? And what we did, what we have here is throttle position, and engine RPM, okay, and each of these blocks, each of these numbers represents um, a fuel mixture um, value, okay. So basically what the technician did was go through on the dyno all the various um, conditions one, one by one by turning the throttle and adjusting load and changing RPM, uh, went through and adjusted um, all these values to get the proper um, air fuel ratio and he measured that and he had a, a gauge at the exhaust pipe. Um, and an interface with the power power commander. Okay, so he was able to go through and and custom make this map for me. Okay, and my application. So um, now, yeah. So what I want to basically um, uh, discuss or drive home the point or uh, underline or emphasize is the fact that. When you lean your air fuel ratio, as I have just shown you on that exhaust gas temperature gauge, when you lean, you raise temperature. When you raise temperature, um, because NOx, nitri nitrides of oxygen, are uh, formed um, at higher combustion temperatures, you raise your NOx emissions. So um, it's very important that you not over lean um, using your FE device. This here is. Um, comparable, not as fancy, but it's comparable to installing an FE device um, uh, to interface with your ECM to um, adjust your O2 sensor signal. This is comparable to that, um, basically doing the same thing, except I don't have an O2 sensor on this bike. It's all done by this fuel map. But the result essentially is the same. You're changing your air fuel ratio. Okay? So, um, uh, when you're hydrogen boosting, as you've seen in my Genset videos, you lower exhaust gas temperature. And that enables you to lean the fuel mixture out to put the exhaust gas temperature back where it was originally. Okay, that's why you need an exhaust gas temperature gauge, and that's why you need a, um, a method of adjusting your air fuel ratio. Otherwise, um, you'll put a hydrogen booster on your application, and there, you know, there's a uh, probably a 70 to 80 percent chance that you will not see an increase um, and that's that was demonstrated in the Genset videos and how to do that here I've just shown you um, this is one method uh, uh, when you're using this kind of a fuel management system every application is different so you need to know your application this is not plug and play you guys need to learn and know how to tune your applications uh, for uh, if you want to see results alright smack out